This side here, Sir Carty uh, Onion Motley. This is a $425 knife right here. So let's see what it's all about. Sir Carty knives usually known to be way cheaper knives or more affordable knives. It's still very good quality, but once in a while they make some really expensive. Limited edition, number of units, 500 units. There is a name of a uh, premium blade steel. There's a type of uh, steel, I guess. Titanium handle with a carbon fiber inlay. Folding knife with a frame lock for safety. Made in Italy. So yeah, what's so unique about it? It comes, first of all, in one of those pouches. This is not a custom knife still. This is just a limited edition by CRKT. That's a cool pouch. Check this out. I think I've seen that before once or twice. That's a flipper as you can see. Carbon fiber inlay right here. Beautiful. Both sides. A really big nice knife. That was easy to flick. Oh, it didn't go all the way. Oh yeah, you know what? I just made a video of a $300 one. This one is so much better. Look how smooth that is. It is just very smooth. And it's a frame lock looks like. So I better keep my finger out of the way whenever I'm trying to close it. And it's kind of nice because it's, I can still put my fingers here and it's not gonna be in the way. That's very smooth. So yeah, first impressions, very nice and handy. I love the design. It's almost like a pistol grip. Look at that finger, um, like grooves right here, is that what you call it? It's perfect for my big hands. Um, yeah, that's nice. Kind of hard to fold it, easy to unfold it. So this is 492, wow, almost the last one right there. It would have been nice to get either y one or 500 serial number. People do care about those kind of stuff, especially whenever it's collectible. So yeah, there's a clip, very soft packet clip, I like that. Um, and looks like this is reversible. So you take off this screw and put it on the other side if you wish to. And looks like you can close it and open it with the left hand, no problem. So yeah, overall, it's a beautiful knife. Look at that, you see it? Let's look at the blade. Yeah, it reminds me of like a miniature sword. You see that style, like a machete style sword? A really thick, wow, bulky knife, I like it. Okay, what it says on it? it? Looks like, I've seen a lot of knives by this maker. It's his logo over here. And this is the steel that they use for this knife. Never heard of it, I'm sure it's really good. But yeah, would you guys buy CRKT $425 knife? It's really expensive, especially for that kind of brand. You know, there's a lot of Microtech knives, um, cheapest knife they have, like automatic knife. It's like $230. These guys sell knives for like 15, 20 bucks, a lot of them. So, I don't know. Every time I make a video of a $1,000 knife, a lot of people say, Ooh, I would rather buy Gerber or CRKT, way cheaper knives, and it's really nice. Well, guess what? Little did they know, they still make very expensive knives as well. Even Gerber too, even CRKT, any knife, knife brand, you're gonna tell me, I'm sure I could find it sooner or later. The knife that they made, pretty expensive. Limited edition, whatnot. So yeah, uh, if you think there's a knife company only making cheap knives you might be on maybe it's not for everybody for sure but if you really like that brand you might enjoy limited edition CRT. this is nice look how smooth it is i'm holding it down this way and as you can see it flies out so well it flies out because it's so smooth a really beautiful knife i like it a lot let me know if you want to see more expensive knives but these uh, generic burns.